Um, so today I want to do something different. Um, so like for many years, um, I've been buying class rings. Um, and um, what got me started in doing this was that um, I went to a high school um, in Texas and um, I, um, I lost, well, I don't want to say I lost my ring, my class ring. Well, actually, um, I lived in an apartment um, where my restroom was in my bedroom. And um, it was only one restroom, a very small apartment. And, um, well, I had a party, and I invited people over, my friends. Well, little did I know that some of my friends invited their friends and their friends. So some of those people I didn't know. Um, and, you know, I'm like a very trustworthy person, you know. So anybody that comes into my home is welcome, and they can feel as, as, is, as is their home. And apparently, they really, literally took it as their home. So, I had all my stuff, like my personal stuff, my wallet, my keys, and, uh, you know, my jewelry, my rings that I wear, my watch, you know, and my shades on top of the counter where, you know, I leave all my stuff. And, uh, you know, I didn't think twice, you know, that anybody would steal my things, and, um, so sure enough, um, I remember I had taken pictures. I was taking pictures that night, you know, all my friends and stuff and, and um, having a good time. And I mean, I did have a good time and it was fun. Although the next morning, you know, I, I see the, my counter and my wallet was there, you know, my keys and my, some of my jewelry, except I noticed that my class ring was gone. And, um, of course, I asked my friends, but I couldn't, you know, like, accuse them or anything, because I didn't know for sure and stuff. So, I haven't had my classroom in many, 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 many years. Um, I don't give up hope. I, I know, I, I feel in my heart that my ring is out there, and somebody has my ring. Um, a lot of people... They kind of discouraged me and say that um, the, the my ring was melted and it was sold, you know, melted and, and sold, whatever. Um, it My ring wasn't 24 karat, it was a 10 karat gold. So, I don't know, maybe it wasn't melted and maybe somebody has it out there. So, for years now, when I go to flea markets or I go to um, antique stores, um... And I go to uh, to uh, yard sales, you know, garage sales, what have you. Um, I'm always looking out for my ring. And like I said, in my heart, I, I strongly feel that somebody has my ring out there. Um, so when I go to these places, I look for senior rings. And when I find, when I see, even if it's not my ring and I see a senior ring, um, I'll buy it. You know, I'll buy the senior ring and um, maybe one day I can return their, somebody's ring, whoever, you know, lost it or got stolen like mine. You know, you hear a lot of stories that, you know, somebody lost their senior ring at the beach. You know, it always happens. A lot of, you know, kids, young adults go to the beach spring break and, you know, they lose their rings. Um, and some people, you know, find them and resell them and stuff. So, you know, I feel for them. And, um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you some of the rings that I found and I've bought at, uh, like I said, the stores that I've gone to. Um, and here are the rings that I've, that I've, uh, that I have in my possession. And hopefully somebody will see your ring or will recognize it uh, maybe from the school that you went to or something and hopefully you can find it um, I've tried to like locate some of the owners but it's really hard I mean you've got to like really deeply go you know and and, uh, and research a lot some of the rings they do have a signature on them and some don't and the ones that don't 
you know, like sometimes I think they're like the, um, you know, like when you when you go to the uh, jewelry stores and they have the displays. I'm thinking like some of those are just made up, you know, just to sell them. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know what they're called. Um, you know what I mean? So um, I'm gonna show you some, and maybe you can recognize. Maybe you'll recognize them, and you have a friend that had lost their ring or something. Um, and um, you can contact it. Contact me. Leave me a message. Um, uh, just subscribe so that way you can get my information. And hopefully we can get these rings to their owners. Um, like I said, I just buy them because I know that somebody either lost it or it got stolen or maybe some some you know college student needed money extra money so they sold it at a pawn shop. You know, anything goes. I mean, I don't know. But honestly, I I. I found these at the, at the antique stores, yard sales, uh, flea markets, you know, and um, some I've spent like maybe, um, I think the most that I spent on one of these rings was like $40. All the other ones were like maybe $10, uh, $15, $35, um, maybe like, uh, I think like 20 is the most or 25 that I've, the majority were sold for. But um, again, I hope that um, somebody will see their ring or that they know that person or something and they can locate the, the owner. So I'm going to start off with, um, I don't know, let's see, let's start off with this one here. All right, so you need a magnifying glass because these rings are tiny, 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 the wording. So this ring is from New Braunfels High School. New Braunfels High School is in, in Texas. And New Braunfels High School, um, let me see the mascot. Well, the ring says, um, it's a girl's ring. It's a, the girl's name is Mari, and it's spelled M-A-R-I. And she graduated in 1997. Um, it says here, um, I think she played volleyball, because there's a volleyball on here. Um... Let me see on the on the inside. Like I said, you know how we always put our initials or, and the initials on here. Well, you know what? I think I better wait on the initials and uh, or uh, or the signature because I want to protect some of these rings, um, in case somebody does come up. And um, so I'll show you the ring. I don't know. Probably gonna be backwards because that's how it shows on the. And the stone in the middle is a tiger's eye. So it's a very, very nice ring. Let's see if it says, let me see if I can put, maybe you could see if it says Mahdi. I don't know, it's probably blurry, right? But this is the ring. And um, it's a silver ring. Like I said, it has a volleyball on the side. There's the volleyball, I'm sure you can see that. And then on this side, it says Mighty right there on the top. So this ring is from New Braunfels, Texas. And um, I'm not sure this mascot. So I know there's two New Braunfels high schools. And there's New Braunfels Cougars and the New Braunfels... Um, uh, <laughs> I forgot. New Braunfels Cougars and New Braunfels Canyon... Oh, I forgot. Hmm. All right. Well, anyway, if you know somebody named Mari, and she went to New Braunfels High School in Texas, she played volleyball, this would be her ring. So if somebody will, you know, notify her, if you know her, and uh, notify me, and then we can go from there. Okay? Um, here's another ring. This one is from let's see the, Camden. Frontier High School, and it has a, a a blue stone. I think it's probably December uh, turquoise. Hey, that's my my zo my um, zodiac, my uh, birthstone, and um, it's from the year 1989. So back in the 80s, um, he played football. Here's a football on the side, so you can see it. And then on the other side, I think it has a Cherokee. So there's a Cherokee. And it says Paul. 
So if anybody knows a guy named Paul who went to Camden Frontier High. This is his ring. Okay. And on the inside it has initials. Oh yeah, there they are. Okay. So he's got some initials in here. So if you know the person, get a hold of him. Let him know that I've got his ring. And it's from Camden Frontier High. His name is Paul and he played football. Okay. All right. Now, let me go wait on that one. Let's try this red one. Okay. Um. Again, I need... Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so this ring is from Plano High School, and they're the Plano Wildcats, and the stone is red, so like a ruby. Um, the name on here is uh, Jessica, and she has, uh, you know what, some of these rings, I, I think I need to like hold up on some of the information, right? Uh, I don't want it to end up in the wrong hands. So... If a Jessica from Plano High School, the Wildcats, if you know somebody named Jessica, let me know. I have her ring here. And she has initials or a name on the inside. Let me see. Okay. It's hard to see. Okay, I don't see. Oh, yeah, they're there. Okay. So, yes, she has some initials in here. So if she can let me know what the initials are, I can return it to her. And that's Jessica from Plano High School. Another Texas high school. All right. Um, let's go to the next one. This one is from... Oh, let me see. Lake Park High School. And it's from 1986. Um, it has a name on it. Oh yes, it has a name on the inside. So if somebody knows, somebody lost a ring from Lake Park High School, and it has a gold stone on the top. I don't know. If that's the colors of the high school. Um, it doesn't have. Oh yeah, it does have a mascot on the side, and it looks like a. A knight or a raider. Let me see. Oh yeah, like a raider or something. So, uh, if somebody knows somebody lost a ring from Lake Park High School. And that's that one. Okay. And uh, here's another one from. Um, I think this one's from Mexico. Cause this one says Escuela. Wait, no, does it Escuela? Wait. Ugh. It's hard to see. Oh, it says secundaria. I think that's what they call uh, high schools in, in Mexico, secundaria. And let's see, on the sides it says, it doesn't really have a name or anything. So I really can't say if it belongs to anybody. I mean, I'm sure it does, but anyway. So that one says secundaria, it's a high school. All right. Next one is... Holy Cross. Now, I know there's a Holy Cross here in San Antonio, and the mascot is Knights, and, and um, has it says Knights on the side. Oh, it didn't break. Let me see. I better put this thing here. I, I was going to do that earlier. I said, I better put something. What if it falls? And I said, nah, I can, I'll hold it. It won't fall. Okay, I'm sorry. Whoever this belongs to, we we'll find the owner. Anyway, this one, uh, like I said, it says knights on the side, right there. Knights, it says it backwards, but trust me, it says knights. And it has a name on the other side. I'll hold up on the name. Um, this is class of 97. So, class of 97. If you know anybody who lost their ring in 1997, I've got their ring here. And on the inside, it has a blue stone. And I know the colors from um, Holy Cross are blue and gold. And on the inside it has, let's see. Let's see. 
see. Can't tell. It has something on the inside, but I just can't tell what it is. It's hard to see. So, if you know somebody who graduated in 1997 from Holy Cross High School in San Antonio, Texas, you let them know that I have a ring here, and it might be theirs. Okay. All right, the next one is from, let's see. Oh, this one says Smithen, Smithson Valley High School. And then from 1993, if you know somebody from 1993 lost their ring or somebody stole it, I've got it right here. Um, I will say it's a girl's name. And on the inside, it has some initials. So if you know somebody who graduated in 1993 and they lost their ring, a female, you let me know. And uh, I think the Smithson Valley... Uh, mascot are Rangers. Um, very, very uh, good high school football team. They're always in the playoffs. They play against Judson and Churchill and um, all these powerhouse high schools. And um, but yeah, this is this one has the name on it on the outside. Um, I think. Let me see if it has any extracurricular. Or what is this? says oh it just says memories I guess you know like for high school memories and then on the other side just has kind of like their crest from their high school yeah it's Smithson 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 ah let me let me read it okay Smithson Valley Rangers high school and it has their colors red and blue so, if you know a girl who lost it in 1993, let her know that I have it in my possession. All right, here's one from Silsby, Silsby, Texas, I think. Yeah, because I've seen it in Texas. And I believe it's over there close to Austin, kind of on the outskirts of Austin. And the Silsby mascot are tigers because it says it has it, a tiger out here on the side and I did some research too I mean I went on the internet and I looked for the high schools to make sure that you know it is a high school and um, like I said most of these rings that I have are from Texas you know so I mean if you know somebody who lost their ring um, you know I've tried I, I honestly try going online you know get uh, going to the high schools and you know trying to find out you know like like there's a website called classmates.com and I went on there and I looked for some of the you know some of the schools and the names and but it's really hard it's like a lot of research I mean I do want these rings to go back to their owners I mean because I wish that mine was out there I wish that somebody had mine and would say Richard I found your ring oh my god I think I cry I mean I like my school is like my pride and joy I mean I still I mean, I go to the football games every year. I mean, I go, I try to go to all of them. You know, I support my the high school. I mean, it, it was a fun time. I know some people say, oh, you know, I, I didn't like high school. I just wanted to get out of there. No, not me. I enjoyed it. I was proud. I'm still proud. I mean, even when I go to the parades, we have parades here in San Antonio. And, you know, I go to all the parade one. Well, I go to one of the parades and my whole family goes, it's tradition. You know, we we get all excited when our school comes by, you know, just like other schools. But um, anyway, so this one's called Silsby High. And the owner was a guy and he played football also. And it was from 1987. So if you know a guy in 1987 who lost a ring, you let me know. And... Uh, We'll get going. All right. The next ring is, oh, I just found out this by finding this ring. It's a junior high school. I didn't know junior high schools had senior rings. I mean, what? Anyway, um, yeah, uh, the other day I told my mom, I said, I found a, a junior high ring. Like, who does junior high rings? I didn't know that. Okay. Anyway, all right, keep going over and over. But um, this one is from Gus Garcia uh, Middle School, and we do have a Gus Garcia here in San Antonio. Um so this one is from 2001, a very pretty ring. It has a green stone. That's, I think green stone is from, from August, so it must be her birthstone. 
And I think it is a girl. I mean, I, didn't, I just said her, but maybe it's a guy's. Let me see. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's got some things on, on the ring so that if you want to claim it, you'll have to let me know, like, some of the, you know, some of the things that are on this, on your rings. I just hope I can find the owners because I've had these rings not, no, no more than five years. I think I've had them, you know, more, uh, like, more or less five years. Um, but I, I really, really, really honestly have been trying to find the owners. All right, so the next ring is from Rungi. I've never been to Rungi. I mean, I know it's here in Texas, but I'm, and I don't know their mascot either. Uh, maybe it's on here. Let me see. Oh, no. Well, this is a girl's ring, and she graduated in 2006. Wow, that was just like, what, 10 years ago. Um, 2006, she was a cheerleader. She was in volleyball. Wait, volleyball or soccer? Yeah, volleyball. And she was in National Honor Society. Okay. And the the stone is like uh, silver. I mean, uh, it's, yeah, silver stone. I don't know what that is. April, maybe? Um, okay, let me see. Is there a name on the inside? Yes, there's some initials in there. Okay. So, if you know somebody, a girl... In 2000, oops, this really helps. In 2006, National Honor Society, she lost her ring, or somebody stole it, or she sold it, whatever the case may be. I have it here safe with me. All right, there you go. Now, I found this one at a flea market. I, I don't think it, I don't know, I might be wrong, but it's from a United States Navy. And doesn't have a year. It's just from the Navy. So it might have been just, you know, just to buy, just to wear it. But it's pretty cool. You know, if you were in the Navy, you know, maybe you want to buy one, wear it. It's kind of small. It doesn't fit me. None of my fingers, really. Anyway, so it's the United States Navy. It's a cool ring. It's not... I don't think it's gold. I don't know. I don't know the reason why they would buy it. I, uh, I'm just messing. Okay. And there's another ring here. This one is from... It's another San Antonio High School. Uh, has a green stone. And it says Southwest High School. Now, I know Southwest High School is in the southwest side of San Antonio. And their mascot is dragons so this one is from 1978 and let's see if it has any initials on the inside uh, yes I see the initials okay so it's got some initials so it's a class of 1978 has a green stone and it has I think something inside let me see if I can see it I believe I want to say it's a Oh, I think it's a zodiac sign. Yeah. Um, anyway, so 1978 Southwest High School Dragons. So if you know somebody from Southwest High School, you let me know. All right. Last but not least, I'm gonna take out this paper. Um. So I found a ring that I believe was remade, you know, or changed, because there's something. Um, really special about this ring um, looks like it's from one high school but changed to another high school I could be wrong and then this at the same time it might be one of those display rings you know um, hold on, wait. It's, like it's, it's got some tape on here all right so this one's from 2015 and it has a name on there it's 2015 there it's backwards but you'll see it okay and it's has red okay you probably saw the name on it but anyway so this one says John F Kennedy High School it has a rocket on there um, although it has something special that if you can you know let me know 
what that special thing is, then I will return this ring. But there's something ironic about it, something unique about it. Okay, so those are the rings. And um, like I said, if you know somebody, I'll show you the rings. I think you can see them right there. Okay. I'm holding the camera kind of like upside down because I can't see. Oh, wait. I think I can do it. Or maybe not. Anyway, so those are the rings. If you know somebody uh, that lost it or sold it or it got stolen, um, get back in contact with me and we'll see if we can return them to the owners. All right? Uh, thank you for watching and hope this helps anybody. And I hope the rings get back to the owners. And hope mine is still out there. All right. Bye.